What's up everybody, my name is Jordan and this is Learning the Lines. Now this week we're gonna be doing some DIY bolt work as always and I'm gonna be working on some cabinet doors. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is our boat now. Oh my God. <laughs> So down here you can see there's a locker there, a locker there, a locker there, and a locker there. And obviously they don't have any doors on them. So today we're going to be working on those doors. Coming forward and below the V-berth, right down here, you can see there used to be some drawers here. There's still one right there, but I don't know if you can tell, it doesn't go all the way in. And that's actually because I installed that tube way in there so that I can see the level of the water tank and that tube sticks out too much. So this just, it hits the tube and it doesn't go all the way in. So my fix to this is I'm actually just gonna remove these drawers. You can see I've already removed this one and there was just like a door here instead of a drawer. And I'm just gonna put a big cabinet door on the front and just not have drawers. It's just gonna be three shelves and a cabinet door. So I'm working on that cabinet door today as well. So also if I have time, I'm gonna cut the new sliding doors that close up these compartments as well. On the port side here, the compartment doors used to look like what they did on the starboard side, which is right here. They looked like this, they were slatted teak. But what happened was these teak slats started coming apart and the doors eventually just disintegrated. So. We removed them. These ones still function. So we might leave these here for a little while or I might cut new doors for them and just replace them all at once. I'm gonna be replacing those sliding doors with quarter inch PVC board and I have to replace the sliders on the port side. I shouldn't have to replace the sliders on the starboard side. The sliders on the starboard side seem to be in good condition but the ones on the port side aren't. So we're gonna remove those and replace those. So I'm gonna bring one of these with me and I'm gonna need to cut eight of these out of PVC board. And I think I'm just gonna do them all at once because that'll be the easiest thing to do. And then I'll be able to install them whenever I want. It's kind of too bad that the old sided teak doors disintegrated like they did because these look good. I mean, I like the way these look. So I would have liked to have kept them, them teak, but uh, I'm not gonna go through the trouble of, of trying to remake these for the port side. So I'm just gonna do it all out of PVC board. Simple, easy, waterproof. Now I've got to get all of this stuff in the dinghy and over to the workroom. Luckily, most of the supplies, like the PVC board and the wood that we're going to be using for the doors, they are already in the truck and on land. We've been getting lots of questions about our electric dinghy motor. I want to mention that we're going to be doing a review on it pretty soon. We just wanted to get the chance to actually use it for a few months before we gave our honest opinion. But so far, we like it, but we're going to be doing the full review very soon. Alrighty, so I'm in the workroom. I've got everything laid out right here. As you can see, I've already marked the lines for the cuts I'm gonna be making. So those are gonna be the sliding panels and this is gonna be the panel that's gonna go over the compartment that was drawers. And then I've got all the other doors right there for the cabinets under the settees. They're already cut out. I cut them out probably about a week ago. So we're all set, let's get cutting. Alrighty, so now that I've got all these panels cut up, it is time to do some sanding. As you can see, I've got all four of these set T panels. I've got this panel that goes over the area under the V-berth and all these guys. They're just gonna be the sliders for those panels above the set T's. All right, so I've got the doors laid out here. They've all been sanded. The corners kind of been rounded and everything like that. So they're all ready for epoxy. So I'm gonna epoxy coat everything before I paint both sides. It's just gonna help make these more waterproof because these are not marine grade plywood boards. They're just from Home Depot. They're just the regular old sanded plywood from Home Depot, but we're using West System epoxy to hopefully waterproof them. And obviously they're not going underwater or anything like that. So this is gonna be the first layer waterproofing layer and then we will paint. All 
All right, so behind me, the epoxy is drying. I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything here and let it dry. Hopefully it'll dry pretty quickly. I ended up using the fast hardener, even though it's warm out today. So hopefully let that dry very, very quickly. So I'm gonna go get lunch now and then hopefully it'll be dry by the time I get back and we can give everything a light sanding and start with paint. That'd be nice. If not, we'll do it in the morning. So I'm back for lunch and I went ahead and marked up this piece of white oak here. So we've got the table leg outline. Now I'm just gonna cut it out. The epoxy on the plywood is, as you can see, still, still tacky. So we're gonna do the table leg for now while we wait for that to dry. Alrighty, so this is the table leg right here. It's gonna hinge right here and then basically just, just fold down. So when the table's out, it's just gonna be on the ground like right there. And then when it goes back up, it's gonna sit right there against the table. And you'll get a better view of it once it's actually on the boat because it's hard to visualize right now, but it's gonna work pretty well. Oh, there goes that project right now. I just dropped the leg and as you can see, this little piece snapped off. Not a huge deal. It's just gonna stop me from continuing on right now. I just have to glue this back together. And you won't be able to really tell. All right, so this is nice and clamped, getting glued up. And then these over here are almost dry. So you can see it releases off of the releases off of that plastic there, but it's not completely cured yet. I'm gonna leave it here overnight and let it cure and then we'll come in in the morning and sand and start painting. The workroom here is free to use, except you have to get everything out at 5.30, unless you wanna pay $5 for the night to leave everything here. So this is gonna be the first night. I'm gonna leave things here. I'm gonna pay the five bucks and then finish everything up tomorrow and then take everything back tomorrow before 5.30. So I understand the fee because they can't have, you know, a million projects in here all the time. So I went ahead and just put one more coat of epoxy while this epoxy is still tacky. These are going to be the front of the cabinets. So I just have a lot that I can sand off and make a nice clean finish when I paint it. So just to have enough epoxy there. So I'm not sanding into bare plywood when I'm trying to get a smooth surface to paint. All right. So I'm back on the boat and behind me right here is going to be the final thing that I'm gonna do today. Now, as you can see, this is unvarnished. The other side of it is varnished. So that looks good. There's about six coats of varnish, I think, on that. And then the bottom of it is completely unvarnished. Now we were on a time crunch to get out of the boatyard, so we just did the top, which was, you know, the most important part. But the bottom needs to be done before we put the leg on. So this is all prepped and ready. I've already gone ahead and just given it a light sanding, and we're gonna be applying some varnish tonight. So let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty, that's one coat. And man, I love the way varnished white oak looks, especially when it's contrasted against the teak. I, I like that a lot. I think it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm probably going to do about four coats on the bottom. I don't think I need to do all six like I did on the top just because there's not going to be as much wear on the bottom and I can always add coats down the line if I really need to do that. Uh, on the leg, probably going to do four coats as well, but I've got to wait for that leg to dry, but I can't wait to get this table finally complete. It's going to be one of the first things that we actually finish on this boat. It should be nice to say that we finished something. Everything else on this boat is like in a constant state of... of progress but never getting finished. The table will be one of the things that we could say we actually started, we worked on, and we actually finished it. It'll be nice. So I'm back in the shop today and behind me are the dried and epoxy coated cabinet doors. So let's take a look. So these look pretty good. Everything's real dry. The top of it has a pretty thick epoxy coat on it and the bottom is a little bit thinner. But yeah, these just need to get a nice light sanding and then we can start painting them. Also the glue's dry on the table leg so that's pretty much done. I just got to sand that today and then we're going to bring it back to the boat and end up, we're just going to be varnishing it there on the boat.
All right, I've got everything all sanded and laid out, ready to paint, and this is the paint we're gonna be using. And actually, we're gonna be starting with this primer right here. This is gonna be the first coat, and this is gonna be the second and probably third or fourth coat, however many we'll need of this stuff. Um, this is some pretty good stuff. It's exterior grade paint, and we're gonna be using it on the interior of our boat on these cabinet doors, so it should be pretty good. And it wasn't very expensive. That's the good thing. Alrighty, so I'm back. It's dry. I think this looks pretty good. I'm just gonna give it a nice light sanding with 220 grit, and then we're gonna go with our first coat of white. So I ended up hitting it with 320 instead of 220. Obviously, you can see here, I'm sanded a little too much, but it's butter smooth now. Really, really nice. Let's get painting with the white. So this is just one coat. You can still see the gray through it a little bit, so we're definitely gonna need to do at least two, maybe three coats. Look who it is. <laughs> it's Saturday today, but we've kind of been working on our own things. What's up, Randy? What do you think? It looks good so far. All right, so that's gonna be three coats on all of that. Looks pretty good. That's gonna be all that I really have time for today. So I'm gonna end up bringing all of this back to the boat. And if we need a couple more coats down the line, we'll put in a couple more coats on there, but I'll probably end up installing them just like this for now. And then going back to them to work on them later, just like we do with everything else. All right, guys, so I've got everything roughed in. Obviously, you can see the doors there. The tracks are not installed yet, but these sliding doors are just kind of there as placeholders for now. These cabinet doors are there unfinished. They're from the last episode. I'm going to be working on those next. Then down here, and these are the doors that we painted in this episode. This is the table leg. It's still unvarnished, and it's still not even attached to the table, but this is how it's going to work. And then on the other side, you can see the other two doors that we made in this episode. They're on there. They, uh, our shoes are in there. There's no latch yet, but the actual hinges I use keep the door shut, but I'm gonna be putting a latch there as well. And coming up, you can see these two sliders. And then again, obviously these two cabinet doors that were put in in the last episode. Now, going forward, there's that other door that I painted in this episode as well. So let's take a look. This one is almost fully installed. It just needs a, a pull, but it's got the magnetic latch that I put in there. And it's got the two hinges. Obviously the backs of these doors still need to be painted, but again, everything is a work in progress. But this one actually, that one actually closes. And I think this magnetic latch is gonna be okay because all we're gonna be putting in here is like clothes. So, I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think it's gonna come open underway. And it's also not facing port or starboard. So it doesn't matter if we heal this way or that way, whatever, it's facing the aft. So I, I don't think that it's gonna pop open, but we'll see. Obviously nothing that I did this week is complete, but I think I made some pretty good progress. I ended up putting up doors on every single one of the compartments that I said I wanted to do that on. And I made the table leg for the table. So functionally things are looking a lot better. And I think aesthetically it's gonna start to look better next week. And as soon as I get done, editing this video, I'm going to start making things look pretty. So hopefully you guys are pretty excited for that next video. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so that you can know every time we upload a video. See you guys. I've got